Today's headlines. Apostle John sent Solomon and Dozes P2B. Tenembu will transform Nigeria. Senator Nora Dadut. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Popular pastor endorses presidential candidate. Man of God takes a stand. Apostle Johnson Solomon has softly announced the name of his preferred presidential candidate. These have attracted praises from his social media, praises from his followers on social media. The General Overseer Omega Fire Ministries International, Apostle Johnson Solomon, has softly announced the name of his preferred presidential candidate. The characters to show his endorsement of the Labour Party presidential candidate on his Facebook page when he simply wrote P2B. This has consequently attracted reactions from many of his followers who praised him for taking such a bold step. In other news, Tunibu will transform Nigeria if elected president. A member of the National Assembly representing APC Plateau South, Senator Nora Dadut, has said that Senator Ahmed Bola Tunibu, the flag bearer of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, in the 2023 election can turn the country around if elected. Dadut in a statement issued in just on Thursday congratulated Tunibu, noting that he has what it takes to turn around the fortunes of the nation for the better. The lawmaker described described for the job having sacrificed his lifetime for the development of democracy in Nigeria. Osibanja congratulates Tenebu on APC presidential ticket. In other news, Vice President Yemi Osibanja has congratulated Asibaju Bola Ahmed Tenebu on his victory at the presidential primary election of the ruling All Progressive Congress. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo has congratulated Asiwa Jibola Metunembu on his victory at the presidential primary election of the ruling All Progressive Congress. The Vice President, in a congratulatory message, which assigned also congratulated President Muhammad Buhari and all leaders of the All Progressive Congress on a successful special convention and presidential primary. They said the party's flag bearer had for many decades shown passion, patriotism, courage and determination in the course of nation building, stating that his sterling contributions to a democracy and its progress stands him out. Osibanjo added that his wealth of experience will be critical in the party's continued efforts to attain a more secure and prosperous Nigeria. Military under fire as bandits deploy helicopter Q-32 in South Ankaduna. Meanwhile, in other news, Human Rights Association, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Hirwe, has carpeted the defense headquarters over its failure to deploy the 12 newly acquired Super Tucano aircraft in the northwest seven months after a federal high court designated bandits as terrorists. Uruguay, in a statement by its national coordinator, Comrade Imano Omubiko, slammed the military hierarchy, especially the Nigerian Air Force, for its tardiness in dealing with terrorists to right in the Northwest. Well, from the beginning, Apostle Johnson Solomon has endorsed um, his own candidate. Well, well, well. Uh, this is the period now. And of course, Osibanjo has finally congratulated its principal. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.